Also within the text, we find types and foreshadowing that also lend credibility as we build our case for the trustworthiness of God's word. What do I mean by types and foreshadowing? I'll share the theological definition of type first. A type is defined as a special example, symbol, or picture that God designed and gave beforehand and placed in history at an earlier point in time in order to point forward to a later larger fulfillment. Okay, that's a lot of words. So said a bit more simply, a type or foreshadowing is where we see an image in the Old Testament that foreshadows or points to something in the New Testament. For example, let's look at animal sacrifices. We see an image or type in Exodus 12, 21. Listen for it while I read the verse. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, go and take for yourselves lambs according to your families and slay the Passover lamb. Do you recognize the type? It's the Passover lamb. We find the type fulfilled in 1 Corinthians 5, 7, where Paul writes, for indeed, Christ our Passover was sacrificed for us. John and several other New Testament writers also identify Jesus as our Passover lamb who was sacrificed for us. One example is in John 1, 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, look, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Other historical details reinforce the validity of Jesus as the Lamb of God who fulfilled this Old Testament type. I wish we had time to study more types, but we don't, but you will find some in your outline. Let's close our internal evidence section with another statistic that will again increase our confidence God's word is true. Professor and theologian Peter Stoner in his book, Science Speaks, calculated the chance of any one man fulfilling the 300 plus prophecies in the Bible, even down to the present time, to be one in, okay, I can't even say the number, but it's the number one with 17 zeros after it, which is mathematically said 10 to the 17th power. But if you're like me, you have really no idea what that many zeros means or how big that number actually is. But what we can know is that the fulfillment of these prophecies is certainly not a coincidence. So as we presented a powerful case and incredibly convincing and compelling evidence to gird up our confidence the Bible we hold in our hands today is true, that it's verifiable and reliable, full of truths and promises we can confidently base our lives on, 